The Queen 2.5 Coder model is one of the best current small model that performing with very impressive results. I went out and tested against the DeepSea Coder 2.5, which is an amazing model, and also with the King Cloud Sonnet 3.5. I kid you not, the size of this model is less than 5 gigabyte, but it's acting like a one of these models that in the range of 50 and 70 gigabytes of model. It come in the 7B billion parameter model and 1.5 billion parameter model. It have 37 billion parameters. It lines as, as Apache, basically it's open source. It have a huge improvement in coding generation, code reasoning, and code fixing. It have long contest support up to 128 tokens so you can create an application using it from the start okay where you can get your hand on this awesome model the first recommended place is olama i don't think that you should run it online i think you should download it and use it offline or using hug and face i'm going to put all my bc bar down below so if you want to go and see it and buy it or maybe see if you're better than my bc and you can run it or not but it's not heavy. You doesn't need like 1419 RTX to run it. It's a simple model. It can run almost anywhere. So without further ado, let's start talking about how we go into test it. In order to use this model as a code assistant, I need to install it from Olama. All I have to do is go to Olama, search for Quinn Coder over here, and it will open this page. Make sure that you download the 7B not the 1.5 billion parameter, which is the smallest one actually. All you have to do is just copy this command line and put it in your SMD over here. And after it is done downloading, we will be able to use it on Olama. And I'm going to use Visual Studio code to connect it to Olama, the Quinn coder that we downloaded using continue. Continue is an extension that acts as a chat assistant using any model that you want. When you install it from your extension tab, it will be over here. After it's done installing, it will take a while. Click on the icon on the left bar and we will have this chat window. Here is a drop down menu for all the models that you can use, but you can add chat model if it doesn't show up here. But the cool thing when using continue, it automatically detect the model that you have on Olama. I have the Olama Code Queen latest, which is the older version, and the Queen 2.5 coder, which is the latest new version that we just downloaded. I'm gonna select this one, and voila, right now we have the Code Queen up and running inside our Visual Studio code. In this test, I'm gonna focus on test it as a code assistant, more than like give me the code for a snake game or build a live game or tic-tac-toe or whatever simple question that we used in every single video. What I have here is a 12 questions. They're ranging from explaining concept, how to solve a problem, writing algorithm, explaining principles, and creating a few simple app like to do app, wizard app, chat app with socket, calculator, quiz app and task manager as a crowd using Python and SQLite. And I'm also comparing it to the DeepSea Coder 2.5, which is an amazing model. The, check the video for it. You will find it down below in the description. And of course, the current king of coding, Cloud Sonnet 3.5. I love this model, I have to be honest. So my first question is simple. Write some Python code that optimally calculate as many Fibonacci number as possible within 0.01 seconds and prints the last in and its corresponding Fibonacci number. I did run the code and I got quite impressive number in 605 and the Fibonacci number over is here. It's quite fast, I have to be honest. My machine is very decent, but in my web server and a hosted server, it will be different. The first question is very good. My second question is not about coding, but more about fixing a problem that you might have when you're using JavaScript. It's called race conditions. And this is happening when you try to do different operation 
modify the same resource like variable or, or database or a state. So let's see how it will work. First, the uh, solution is correct. Sync uh, wait. Second one, utex. Use the bounce or slotting. This is also solution race condition in your code. This is a very good answer, actually. But I wonder where is a promise. Yeah, use promises and async await. I thought this was going to be a different solution. But this is a very good. I will give it an, at least 9 out of 10 for answering these questions. So my second question is also not about coding. It's more about explaining a concept, not debugging anything. What is different between synchronous and asynchronous code? And let's see how it will answer this. So it's async await. Basically, that's synchronous block, which is waiting for the function to process what it needs to process and return the response. It will wait for it. But here, the statement for our explaining for synchronous, it's basically will continue without waiting for any process to be complete or not. Like the simple function that it gives us here, function add A and B, and it will return immediately without waiting for anything. Very good answer also. We also have to test it if it can explain principle, like can you explain the solid principles in OOB? And here it went on single responsibility, open closed principle, licks, cov, substantial principle, interface segregation, dependency inversion. It did a decent job of explaining the principle with a clear explaining. So I will give it 10 out of 10 of explaining the solid principle in OOB. We're going to require it right now to write some sort of code that will check if the number is prime or not. And here it's a, yeah, I'm using JavaScript, no Python. So function is prime number, we'll give it a number. And here it will tell us if the number is less than or equal one, it's not a prime. If number is exact, exactly two or three, it's a prime. So I wrote the code that it gave me and I give it the 29 and ask it if it's prime number or not. And it gave me a correct answer is true. A change number like the 84, I think. And let's try it once more. Yes, correct. Then right now it's give us the correct answer for boost if it's a prime or not a prime. Another success for this code. Now let's try to make it right. The algorithm for finding the shortest pass and hit enter. Dijkster algorithm is bubble algorithm. It try to explain it first. Okay, another perfect answer. Give us the sim the correct output. A zero, B is one, and C three, and D is four, and it's correct over here. So far, all what we did is simple questions like creating method for checking the number is prime or not, explain principle, what to do with risk condition. I think you will be using it like building an actual project. For example, a simple project like build a wizard application using JavaScript. So for the code for testing the wizard app, actually it's kind of function, but the problem is the API key itself that I provided is not active yet, and it will not be active in a few hours. But let me show you the UI and the logic. Here is the UI. You enter the name of the city here, for example, and when you click get wizard, it should prompt you with the the current wizard and temperature of the city, but by API keys itself is broken. I have to simple file script.js and HTML. The HTML that you want that you saw with the input and button and will retrieve the web info and the script will handle the rest. Get the wizard, the API key, the API URL, handling the city, the response, uh, fetch, what kind of error, but it doesn't return the current error, it returns a static error called the city not found. And after it's done, it bought this HTML inside the HTML page that we have. I will say it's successful even the code didn't work. The API key is the problem, not the code. Build a to-do app using JavaScript and CSS. And let's see how it will handle this. Okay, this is the result of the to-do list application that I requested. Let's test it out. It shows us each queen. Okay, it's a little bit ugly but it can be fixable like complete will it give me this kind of deleting button delete to remove it okay it's functional add more right right the style is i requested the style to be dark with 
flat colors, improve the UI, UX, but it seems that it's not able to create this button correctly. I might go back and ask it to improve it, but it doesn't matter as long as the function is correct and the style is all right. I'm not gonna lie, I want it to be much better. Like the delete should be red, the complete might be green, orange, or blue. My second question is about creating a simple chat application in JavaScript using the socket programming, which is like real time chat concept. Let's ask it and see if it can do that. Another successful chat, it made just two simple files one express and one HTML using socket IO. I have here two windows one for hi, is sending hi and the second saying hello. Maybe we send how are you? And let it send and we'll see it over here. This is what the basically socket message app is. It's a very simple but also kind of tricky to create if you're not aware of the socket IO library in JavaScript. And here a simple code of doing it. It's just a simple app, express app. I wanted to create a calculator using Python and Tinker. And here I give it, I want to build the GUI calculator using Python and Tinker. The calculator should support basic arithmetics, operation like additions, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And here the requirement. So here is the calculator. It's working, but the problem like five plus five, it doesn't show anything how I can get the results. It doesn't show I can clean everything. I think it's failed in this test. I'm not trying even to attempt to fix it using it, but like out of the get go right now, it's failing. My second question is also creating a slightly advanced app using JavaScript. It's a quiz app. The one that you have a question, you select one of them, either it's correct or wrong. Here I give it an explanation task build a quiz app using vanilla JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. This app should display multiple choice questions and allow user to select answer. At the end, display the score the requirement, display one question at a time. The user select an answer and move to the next question. At the end of the quiz, display the score. So I treat it like a some sort of junior developer that I give it the requirement, what it should do and the uh, whole description of the app. And here that what I get without modifying anything, it already look a little bit better, but here I select, for example, London, which programming is the most commonly used for development. It will be JavaScript. What does HTML stand for? Hypertext markup language. Quest complete, final score is two out of three. So I did the first one is wrong. The second one and the third one is correct. And that's correct for the app. Also, the, the style of it is kind of modern. It's not using Tailwind, it's using vanilla CSS. The second question is a mix between CROD creation, basically create, read, update, and delete, and a simple app that will handle the task manager. It's like advanced to do app, but using database. And here I requested to basically go ahead and create it to build a simple task manager with Bison and SQLite to manage task, which is the CROD requirement at task with description and due date, list the task, mark task as complete or delete them. It's to do app, but with database. So I copied the entire code inside one file as it asked task manager.py and run it. it out, it's currently working. Let's test it out together. Here I have option. Want to add task, list all task, complete task, and delete task. Let's add the task one. Okay, list. Let's right now. Let's start to list all task. I have one task ID description coin two five. Coder test complete is no. So let's say we want to complete this task and hit three. Enter the choice. Enter the ID of the task that I want to complete. I will hit one. I'm not sure if you guys can see this or not, but here it is. It's not in your eye itself. I hit enter and let's see here once more if the old task is there, there and the completion is yes. So it's completion also working. Let's try to delete this task and the ID is one. Okay, let's just list all tasks. And I have no task actually. That's good. Let's right now to exit this task manager. Five and we exit. Perfect. Perfect app. 
So the only app that it actually failed in is the creation of calculation using Python. The rest of them is actually decent. Uh, we'll right now go ahead and do the same thing using DeepSeek Coder and CloudSonnet. I'm pretty sure CloudSonnet will be a superior to both of DeepSeek and Coencoder. But let us see after I'm done with testing these two. I'm going to show you the summary. All right. I am done with testing the both of other model. And I kid you not, DeepSeek is really good in terms of our open source model. I tested it heavily in the DeepSeq chat and I will say it's better for an open source model, especially in Bison. For example, the calculation app that created by DeepSeq is actually better than Sonnet. And of course, the Quinn 2 didn't even create one. We can test it out like five, multiply by five, give me number 25, it's all right, divided by three. So as you can see here, it's working. The UI is not the best thing, but yeah, it's functional, it's working. Also, the Claudia one is working, but it's not that good in terms of look like the deep seek. Here is the Cloud Sonnet calculator. It's ugly, I have to say it. Like five plus five, yes, then yeah, it's working also, but the look of the deep seek was much better. Let's talk about the other questions that we have. In terms of total all, Cloud Sonata is far better. In the JavaScript application, this is the to-do app of Cloud Sonnet. It's perfect. As you can see here, I added a new task. You can select here is complete, become gray. You can delete it over here. You can add one. Of course, it's working. This is the style that generated without asking. And for the quiz app for Claudia once more, this is what it looked like without modifying anything. Let's select, like as you can see here, when you select the correct one, it highlighted. Next, which planet is known for red planet? It's Mars. Next. Was the largest mammal in the world? I think it's a blue whale. Score three out of three. As you can see, it's here is style, logic, everything is perfect. And I noticed that the Cloud Sonnet in web development is superior. Uh, it's perfect. But in Bison, it's almost at the same level of the deep seek. Uh, in the JavaScript and all the stuff, it's blowing all other models. And if you are a web developer or a full stack developer or working with the web, I really recommend that you invest in using Cloud Sonnet. If you're using Bison, you can replace it with the DeepSeq or the Quint 2 also. Why? The DeepSeq have one issue. It's uh, the coder itself you can download it. The DeepSeq version of it, basically the model that you should download, is 133 gigabytes in terms of size. This is a huge model. I will say the Quint 2 come immediately after the Deep Sea Coder 2.5 in terms of performance. For now, I think the Quint Coder is perfect for as an offline assistant and as a code auto completion if you want to, to use it as an auto completion. But I will not say it's a king in terms of performance, but for its size, it's a fantastic model less than 5 gigabyte and performing on almost on the scale of the deep seek 2.5 almost not completely in the same bar with it that's it for this video thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell notification and let me know in the comment if you think this model is great or not or you're gonna use it or not and i really recommend using it as an offline assistant maybe i'm gonna make a video how to set up it as an offline assistant with Bear AI, the editor. So let me know down below in the comment what you think. Have been a blast. Thank you for watching once more. My name is Hussami Dean Hussain Billy. You can call me Sam and see you in the next video.